Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called Simple Arguments. And in this video, we're gonna continue from where we left off in our previous lecture, which was custom functions. And in this video, we're going to learn a little bit more about PHP arguments within our functions. So hang in there and let's do this. In your Code Dynamic Websites course files folder, we are in 25 simple arguments. In your code editor, make sure to open the final and practice.php files in the 25 simple arguments folder. Practice.php is the sandbox we're going to use to build what is in final.php. Final.php looks like this. We have an example here where we're using one argument and an example where we're using two arguments. Obviously, you can't see that on the front end of our web page here, but PHP is doing that in the background. So why don't we jump into our lecture and learn a little bit about our PHP arguments. Functions can be incredibly powerful because you can program them to do almost anything you want them to. One important step in making your functions even smarter is to use arguments within your function. Not the type of argument where you and a friend are bickering about a disagreement or something like that. I'm talking about arguments within functions, two very different things. Think of an argument like a variable. Your program can pass extra information to your functions using arguments. You specify your arguments within the parentheses after your function name, and you can have as many as you want as long as they're comma separated. So let's take a look at an example of a function with a single argument. So here we have our PHP script. What we're doing in the above example right here is we're passing an argument to the hang10 function. You can see it right here. It looks like a variable. It has the, the dollar sign and then a name. So this is an argument. Later in our script, we call our function several times with a string of text within each parentheses. So here we have hang10 Hawaii, hang10 California, hang10 Newfoundland. And each time we call our function with a new argument value, that value will display on the, on the screen along with the text we provided in our function here. So in our function, we're saying echo, we are surfing in. So this is gonna stay static each time we call our function. But what's gonna change is the variable right here, which is the argument within our hang10 function. So it's gonna look like this. We're surfing in Hawaii, we're surfing in California, and we're surfing in Newfoundland. So let's look at an example with two arguments. So in our PHP script here, all we did was add another argument separated by comma. Then when we called our multiply together function later in the script, we provided two values to take the place of our val1 and val2 arguments. Within our multiply together function, we have a variable and we're multiplying val1 and val2 together, storing it in the product variable. Then we're echoing this text. The product of the two numbers is, and then we're spitting out the product variable, which is actually the product of val1 and val2 multiplied together. So when we call multiply together, we can choose which numbers we want them to multiply together by providing the two values of the arguments. So the result in this case, 378. This is dynamic. So why don't we jump into our code editor and see what we can do. Here we are in practice.php. Make sure to change your name in the custom variable. And let's jump into our one argument PHP script. Start by building a function. And let's call it hang10. And in here, we're gonna add our argument and that's gonna be location. And down here, let's echo some text. We are surfing in and then location. Put a break tag after that, maybe an exclamation point two to make it exciting. There we go, so that is our function with our argument, very simple. Now all we need to do is call our function right here. You can see that Coda2 already knows that there's an argument that I need to fill in here. So you could see when I'm typing hang10, it pulls it up as a function that has been initiated within my script. Pretty cool, it helps me code faster. And so if you're not using Coda2, I strongly suggest you try it out because it speeds your coding up quite a bit. You can find it in my resources section on my website at bradhussey.ca slash resources. But anyway, you can see here hang10 and location. So I need to fill in that value for that argument. It's asking me 
what do you want to put here? So I'm going to say Hawaii. And then I'm just going to copy and paste that two more times and change the value of this argument a couple more times. California, good surf spot. And Newfoundland, a very underrated surf spot. Very cold. Okay. And so let's save that and check it out in our practice.php web page. Here it is, one argument. We're surfing in Hawaii, California, and Newfoundland. So there we go. That is a simple example of how to use one argument. Let's jump in and try out two arguments. So we're going to start by building our custom function. We're going to call it multiply together. And then in here, we're going to add two arguments, val1, comma separated, val2. And then we're going to, inside the function, say store the product of val1 and val2 in the, the variable called product. So that will multiply these two values together in a variable called product. And down below that, we're going to echo some text and say the product of the two numbers is, and then product. And there we go, close that up with a semicolon. And down here, we're going to call our function. Multiply together. You can see Coda is looking for two values here. So I'm going to say the first one is 14, and the second one is 27. You can have them be whatever numbers you want. If you're curious to see some crazy numbers multiply together, totally up to you. PHP will do it all for you. Save that, check it out. The product of the two numbers is 378. Awesome. So there we go. There we have it. Two good solid examples of how to use arguments within your custom functions. The sky's the limit here. Maybe you have some cool ideas. Feel free to try it out here in the sandbox. Totally up to you. And I will see you in the next lecture where we're going to be finally jumping in to building an actual dynamic website with PHP with everything we've learned. See you there.